Hello everyone, this is Charles of the God Principles. I want to thank you for watching my channel. This is going to be really different. This is going to be a reaction video. I've been looking at what kind of content could I provide that would be entertaining and educational. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start highlighting some comments that I think are relevant and I'm going to respond, I'm going to react to them. I want to thank all of you for putting your comments in. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to cover, because I'm looking at putting together a new content calendar, drop me a line. There's a person that keeps saying on my comments, how do I get in touch with you? If you look in my about section, all my content contact information is right there you can send me an email that being said the first thing I want to get into there was somebody that's called me arrogant I was trying to find the comment because I responded to it because the person didn't seem to be educated about where I was coming from the first thing you got to realize is that the Philippines has been an occupied country up until 1945. It has been indoctrinated by the Spanish, then the Japanese, and then Americans. These people have never been allowed to develop on their own and do realize that I know that there are racist Caucasians here in the Philippines. We know you exist. That's okay, fine. But realize the problems in the Philippines stem from them being occupied by other countries. And then now they are controlled. You should check your history because if you look carefully, the problems around the world come from the indoctrination of other countries from powers that try to control and take advantage of them. That's a, part, that's a global issue. One of the things that I noticed is that when these Caucasian civilizations come into a, a country, the first thing they do is they poison it. Here in the Philippines, there's alcoholism. That's a poison. Then there are drugs. These people don't know nothing about drugs. But then once they undermine the civilization, then they can come over and use their predatory indoctrination tactics. Caucasians have used that to con conquer countries and ethnic groups. It did it in China with opium. When they saw it, well not China, it, China did have an opium problem, but it was Japan. And Japan got so fed up with it that they put the foreigners out and then they tried to clean up the drug traffic in their country. If you didn't get off of it, you were put to death. These are the tactics used by these Caucasian countries in order to weaken the culture. They did it in America. They did it to the Indians with alcohol. They did it to the African Americans with drugs. We don't have no access to that stuff. Somebody's got to bring that in and it undermines the natural development of those ethnic groups. That is a trend you will see all over the world. It's like they come in with uh, chemical warfare tactics. That's what I call them, because that's what it is. You're dropping chemicals into the culture and it undermines the entire culture. I get real tired. I talk to these Filipino women and realize the men that they're with in a lot, of, a lot of cases are not their first choice if they have children. 
Their first choice is that Filipino man. Something went wrong. I hear stories of alcoholism and drug addiction. That's the perspective that I'm getting. I'm not saying it's everywhere, but that's what I'm getting. The stories that are being told to me that these issues brought in by Caucasian cultures have undermined the natural development of these people. So it is only natural that a Filipino woman trying to survive, I don't know why this light is, is let me see. Let's see if that helps. No, that's too much. I got a little light here because it keeps going in and out. I'm trying to make sure it stays okay. But anyway, there are economic stratification in this country because the other person was talking about how well the Filipinos are doing with OFWs. Well, you need to educate yourself because we know in America that taking any parent out of the home is not good for the family structure. You destroyed the African-American community by taking the man out of the house, by offering the women money and making him leave. And it destroyed the community. These are the things that I'm seeing over here. That we coming in here with these belief systems, thinking that they're healthy and they're actually unhealthy belief systems. Because I got another one right here. We're going to talk about that, these unhealthy belief systems. You need to understand that the channel is called the God Principles, but it's about the principles. It is about the principles that people that come in here with these predatory attitudes, these unhealthy belief systems, and unwilling to acknowledge the damage that has been done to this culture. And then we want to come in here and impose our belief systems on it makes no sense, man. Look, we think it's a good thing to go up there and build them roads. We think it's a good thing to bring, build these here uh, concrete structures. Newsflash, this is an earth, earthquake zone. I was really shocked. Earthquake hit and people running out in the street butt naked. I said, what the hell going on? Didn't you feel that earthquake? These concrete structures, if you look carefully, they got cracks in them from earthquakes. However, I've been up in the provinces. This is a hunter-gatherer society. They live in building structures that are made of bamboo. If you get caught in one of those things and it comes down, odds is it's not going to kill you. So who's the smart one here? We come in here and call ourselves going to introduce and modernize them and it's causing issues. One of the biggest problems to Filipinos here is their health. But if you look carefully, it is caused by the introduction of these modern foods, processed foods. It's causing them health issues. The same ones that we have in our modern civilizations from other countries. The next thing is you cannot come in here and call yourself wanting to have, take advantage of these women who are economically deprived. Let's call this girlfriend experience. Let's call it what it is. But that is caused by the systems that have been indoctrinated in this culture. Do you know the strangest thing I thought? was this. They call themselves Catholics. I'm, I haven't seen a Bible yet. I haven't. I asked them have they been through catechesis. They say what is that? But they say they're Catholic. Look I know something about the Catholic faith. I'm not Catholic but I studied it. How can you be something and you don't know what you believe? That's the indoctrination. Realize the Roman Catholic Church can put the Christianity, which is still a good thing, in order to try to civilize these decadent cultures. Good luck with that in the Philippines. They're still under development as people. 
And you can't come here talking about you trying to help them. If you're trying to help them, to me, then give them the right education to develop their country. Not to be a slave resource for yours. That is still slavery. You come here, we ed give them the education that we think they need so that we can export them to other countries. That is still slavery. We went through that in America. African Americans had to come up out of the racist system and we had to fought for education and it still is effed up. It's still effed up. We had to develop our own education system in order to make sure we got a reasonable ex education so we could succeed in America. These are the systems that are in place, the matrix systems that keep your belief and systems keep you enslaved. If you look at the channel, the God principles, it is about freeing yourself from the belief systems that keep you enslaved. That's what this is about. So you guys coming up here with these comments, come on with it. Because for you white guys, you Caucasian guys, I love some of you all, but realize I'm educated. I'm really educated. I've looked at how this culture has evolved, how it's been harmed by the Spanish, the Japanese, and they're being victimized. And I don't like that. Look, this culture would have been fine if it was never introduced or conquered by these other nations. They would have developed the way they've been living since way before any of us come here. And you know what made me think about that? When I saw this culture that lives out there on the water on boats. You know, they're so good at diving, they, they can hold their breath a long time. They go down there and they spearfish. They've been living like that for centuries. And they're doing just fine. We say, oh, they're poor. No, that's who they are. We come in here and we want to say, well, we can modernize this. And all we're doing is taking advantage of our education and knowledge to make them a part of our system. For example... They come in here, we teach them technology. But then, in our own country, we outsource certain work to them and pay them less. Now, if you were really sincere about helping this country to stand on its own two feet, pay them the same amount of money that you pay a person in your country. See, see that don't sound too good, now does it? Because now, the powers in our own countries use that against the public. And you're seeing it now. You're seeing that the IT countries, the IT people in America, those big countries, they're outsourcing this stuff to India and over here. If you look carefully at a lot of them, they have centers over here of Filipinos in the call center, and you're not going to know because they talk perfect English. And they paying them to do jobs that they could have been paying people in your country. That's predatory. That is predatory to come in here and then pay these people less just because it's a different country and it has a economic, different economic level. Did you know that Intel had a chip manufacturing company here? Yeah, they've invested money in here, in this country. They left because the electricity was too high. However, if they were sincere, they could have put in electric generators because it's a lot of water right here in the ocean. We have the technology to generate all the electricity that that country, this country needs from the water and the sun. And right now I have to commend the government because they're trying to do something to turn this around. They're building out there, up in a mountain somewhere, uh, there's a, a lake up there. And they're going to put solar panels on the lake to generate energy in order to decrease the cost 
of, of energy here in this country. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm going to be responding to more comments. And if you're going to be a jerk, I'm going to be a jerk with you. Because I'm, I'm, it's like this. You can't come in here with your belief systems with me because I'm educated. I'm going I'm to do some research. Now I'm fixing to roast somebody. Because you put your comments on here and I go on your channel and y'all y'all is blank. If you got something to say, make a video about it. Put your face on camera. Because there's one here, I'm fixing to go into it, I'm fixing to put you on blast. And I got this coming for everybody, and I don't care who the fuck you are. It says here, it was a good topic. It says, why foreigners struggle financially when moving to the Philippines with the Filipino? And the topic is Joneses. It's about keeping up with the Joneses. Here in the Philippines, they recognize certain trends. When we get with a Filipina, she has recognized certain trends about her other Filipino women. And so now they have the expectation of when they're with a similar guy, they have the same expectations that they saw their other girlfriends with. It creates issues as bad as it can even go into the family. The family will refuse an expat if he cannot meet the financial requirements that another daughter has achieved with a foreigner. That's what I'm talking about. It creates pressure on other expats that are not at that economic level. Because in this particular one, this person says, please don't generalize. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I know what I'm seeing. I, the military didn't bring me over here. I came here on my social security on my own. And the military people that I see, they definitely have bringing more money than me. And they all talk about it too. They live a better lifestyle. They have more because they have a higher income. But here's the thing about that. It creates an impression about if you're hanging out with people like that, it creates an impression of the Filipinos that, uh, you know, it's like birds of a feather. But here's some, it says here, it says not, not all of the women here have a lack of financial knowledge and or responsibility. Many of them are very fugal even when they did not grow up with money. That's true. But you got to realize, I'm trying. We're trying to sort through the, through those the ones that do versus ones that don't, and realize some of the comments that I put out, they're not mine. I get them from other Filipinos. One of the things they say is those in the 20s, they're not emotionally mature. That's from a Filipino woman. They don't want to come on camera because it'll get them in trouble. Trouble. I'm not scared of that. Those with educations actually come in and they're taking care of themselves up front. They don't need us for our money, but they're hard to find. And then as a matter of fact, a woman with an education is in high demand even by Filipino men. So if a woman that is educated, taking care of herself, and possibly her children is given a choice between an expat or a Filipino that's standing on his own two feet and can provide a stable income, she will choose the Filipina. So that means you're always a second choice. Let's keep that real. You're always a second choice. Because some of these women choose these relationships out of desperation. Go look at the YouTube channels. They've been messed over by the problems here in this country with the Filipino men, alcoholism, drug addiction, um, physical abuse, lack of economic opportunities because the education system is so 
lacking. So now because of the system that's been imposed on this country, you're making it harder for them to develop. But I will say the government is doing these two things. Number one, you cannot own property here. And if you marry one of them, they're 60% ownership. And if you act up, they can get rid of you. So really, you're a commodity. You really are, which is fine. But realize there are government protections in place. And I'm going to commend the president. He passed a law for these foreign countries. They got to teach two Filipinos for every one foreigner they have in the position. And they have two years to swap them out. They're taking this country back because I believe that this country would be fine if we put in micro loans and micro teaching so that they can develop a local economy. Get to give you an example, Elon Musk, he put Earthlink in place. Earthlink allowed parts of this country that couldn't get the internet, they now have it. And it's out there in those farm areas. The end result of that is, is that they can communicate with the markets that they have to harvest for and quit bringing food in that can't be sold. Now why didn't the regular country, the regular internet people do that? You see what I'm saying? There are things that could be done that could make this country build itself back up and, stand, and get its own autonomy back. We have to put in the right education besides to give them education so that they can be shipped overseas away from their family. See, these are the things, these are the harmful things we do, we do call ourselves helping and we actually being predators. This channel is about the principles. I offer anyone the ability to escape that grind in America or anywhere. If you want to learn about digital marketing, how to build a personal brand, how to build a YouTube, tube, YouTube channel, my business channel covers all of this and it's available to anyone. I'm actually going to throw this out here for anybody that's a Filipino. I will teach you for free because it's like if I come in and teach you what I know, you can dominate the internet, literally. Just to let you all know, I've been doing this for 40 years. I'm one of the people that helped implement the internet when it came into the business world out of AT&T Unix Software Labs. No one here has the amount of